Hello happy people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at a three and a half page short story called The Bowman, which was published in 1914 by Arthur Machen. Uh, it's a very different short story by Arthur Machen. Arthur Machen is a horror writer. Uh, he's a very influential horror writer who published a lot of uh, things uh, in the late and mid 1890s and then earlier on, later on uh, in the early 1900s. Uh, starting uh, as World War I debuted, he became a war correspondent for one of the local papers in Britain, and he wrote this fictional piece, uh, which details a battle between the British and the German forces. It's a military short story. Um, and at the end of this, uh, he argues, uh, he has, says that a battle was actually won, surprisingly, by the outnumbered uh, British due to a divine supernatural influence. Now, this was actually widely read and widely believed at the time, and this is actually where the Angel of Mons legend comes from, uh, the, the belief that this was happening. Um, it's a very different Arthur Machen piece because he's a horror writer, right? Um, and I've been doing a deep dive into him because he's such an influential horror writer. So this is a very different piece. Um, it began a lot of his... Uh, Writing during the war will become of his, the fictional stuff that he's writing, in addition to his correspondence uh, as a war correspondent, uh, will be much more puff, pro-British British stuff. His, the pro-British stuff is particularly ironic since his stuff is written during the Victorian era, and previously his stuff had a lot of sort of anti-Victorian stuff to it, and now this is very pro-British. <laughs> so it's very interesting uh, uh, how, how, he's, how he's gone. Uh, I'm only giving this a 6 out of 10. It's still only three and a half pages long, uh, but it is definitely influential. Heavily read during his time and began a legend, uh, you know, according to historians. So, there's, so that's also pretty cool, too, and heavily believed uh, during the time. I'm only giving a 6 out of 10 uh, to this military uh, and with a religious ending. Uh, and again, uh, Arthur Machen is a spiritualist. So he believes that there is a truth to the matter of myths and legends. He believes uh, or ghosts or uh, that ESP exists um, or that there is people have souls rather than just being things. Um, you know, each spiritualist will believe different sort of things, but each spiritualist believes or, or all these things. Uh, but each sp spiritualist uh, argue that there is more to this world than we can sense with our five senses. Uh, whereas materialists will believe uh, that there are just, just our five senses and that's it. It's just what we see and hear and can think, right? Uh, there's nothing beyond uh, this world and ourselves uh, and, and what we can sense. Uh, and so there's no telepathy, there's no sixth sense, right? There's no ESP, uh, there's no telekinetic stuff, there are no ghosts, there are no spirits, there are no souls, right? There's nothing divine or satanic, it's just us, right? And materialism was a heavily believed thing during the Victorian era. So a lot of his short stories have two major protagonists, um, which are having a conversation or where evidence is produced uh, to show that spirits, or they have circumstances where spiritualism is proven to be true during the course of that. And that actually is true for this one. Although there aren't two characters arguing, there aren't really point of view characters at all for this three and a half page uh, short story. Uh, nevertheless, the argument is still being made because Arthur Machen can't stop being Arthur Machen, right? <laughs> right? That, there's a, that there is a, a, a spiritualism uh, interpretation of this battle. The reason why the British won is because of a divine, is because of divine influence, right? Against the Germans. So that's kind of, I think, a valuable point, right? Even still in this short story, which is a military science fiction short story, uh, rather than a traditional sort of a horror short story that he was writing, um, still, nevertheless, there's this spiritualism interpretation of the events. And so there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. It's a very short story. It took me like eight minutes for me to read last night for the first time. I'll try to find it for you in the comments below in addition to this collection. Um, I'll also try to find you the free version online on a place like Project Gutenberg. Uh, but this is like 15 years after the publication of the previous one. So I don't know if this will be free online. I'll just try to find it. I'm, I, my guess is it will be, but we'll see. But I'll try to find it for you for free online in a place like Project Gutenberg. And there you are. That's The Bowman by Arthur Machen. Have you read it? What did you think of it? Would you like to talk about it in my video in any way or shape or form? If so, I would love to talk with you more about it in the comments below. 
whatever your take is. If you like this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There'll be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my videos. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.